Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wilder Myth, where we are following the Chosen of the Gilded Lily as they continue their assault upon the Morthogi's castle, no less. We have just lost Aim. She has fallen back after having been right front and center for all of the attacks from the Spectics and Weldings that just have poured out of the hallways, built out of the horrific remains of the human sacrifices that constructed them. We are now going to do our best to try to have the Chosen of the Gilded Lily survive. And how they're going to do that? Well, it's getting a little bit tricky in here, guys. Not going to lie. But I think the best thing to do at the moment is probably to run for it. So we're actually going to go ahead. And Lilo, how far can you run? If we can go ahead and get her all the way out here, we might have a lot more to be able to work with. Yeah, with all of the rocks and trees outside, we would have a ton more to be able to work with. But it might be a matter of potentially getting cornered. So we need to pick very carefully. So let's run this way. All right, let's go you two. Lon, fall back. All right, we're going to have them both fall back. And then hopefully, way back here, she'll be able to interfuse with a whole bunch of the, the rocks and trees and things that are here. And meanwhile, we're going to have Nalmia try to get to a point where she can potentially pick them off one by one. So we're going to have her run over here and see if she can draw the attention of the Watchmen. And hopefully not run into too many other... Here they come. Oh, are they coming for Nalmia? No! That is the last thing that I want! You guys weren't supposed to do that! You were supposed to come back this way, you fools! All right, all right. That's not what we wanted at all. They were supposed to chase us. Now, Mia. Okay, we're gonna do our best. All right, let's run back. Okay, come on, Lon. Let's go ahead and get you in here. He's not gonna like look. He 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 and Now Mia like they may have been. <gasps> There's another butler. Oh my word. Okay, how on earth am I gonna do this? Should I try to fall back? You know what? Let's let's rejoin the team. I think that's literally like the only option that I have at this point that could even remotely be sane and safe. Um, that that really probably is the only thing. Or should I just jump down here and face this group? How many are there again? Watchmen, welding, spectic. We'd have to. I'd have to move her over here. Yeah, I don't think I could I could move down there and punch at the same time. You know what? Let's try to punch our way through. That's what now Mia would do her best to do. So we're going to have her guard. And wait for an attack here. Oh, Lon! Lon! Oh, he's taking some damage. Back off, Spectic. Back off. Ah, oh, now Mia took one damage. That Spectic tried to come and she took him out. And she took out the welding and that slash of the armor on the Watchmen. Oh, now Mia, you are so awesome. Okay, that butler's front and center now. I think maybe... Okay, all right, all right, all right. She's pinned? Okay. Let's come over. Now Mia, absolutely. Boom! She's so cool! Why is she so cool? And meanwhile, I feel like we should probably get out of here, Lon, because otherwise we're going to die. Like, this is just literally death upon death. Can I do anything? Can I interfuse with anything in here? Like, all I could try to do is, like, splinter blast a little bit, and I feel like we probably need to run instead. All right, we're going to fall back again. Come on, Lon. All right, Lon, how far can we have you fall back? before it would count as two fallbacks. I think I can have you fall back this far. Uh, don't do that. Fall back this far. Away from the fire, please. And then you can shoot and hobble. All right, hobble that guy. Meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead. Interfuse with, please let me move it too. Okay, fire leash it. Yes! Oh, I'm so glad they work together to kind of try to, like, get the butler closer so they could fight him. Oh, now Mia is so untouchable. I'm so proud of her. She does so good. Oh, good. The Spectic took some damage. Oh, Lon's armor. 
Oh, he's trying so hard to prevent getting attacked by all these- No, there's another butler! Oh my gosh. Okay, back off, Sommelier! Oh my gosh, they do a lot of range damage. Okay, now Mia? Alright, so she's she's busy fighting over there. Meanwhile, Lon? Um, if he can fall back far enough, he can still shoot some of these guys, which would be very useful. So we're going to have him fall back some. And then potentially shoot the Spectic would... Pretty much get rid of that spectic. Uh, however, let's actually move back a little bit because we're going to need to. With. There we go. Can I shackle some of these guys? Interfuse. I could shackle that guy. And I think that's about all I've really got. Yeah, I can shackle him. And I can interfuse to do splinter blast. But I think the most important thing is going to be maybe interfusing to still fire. And that used up my stuff. Okay, that's fine. All right. Not fine, maybe, but doing my best. Okay, that guy died to the fire. Thank goodness. The other Spectic died to the poison. Lawn's poison. He must have just, like, worked all... Oh, Nalmia! Or, like, Lilo! Nalmia! I I'm yelling for Nalmia because I need her help to, like, protect us. All right, good, good, I guess. The butler's coming this way, um, which I guess is good. We have some blazes that are blocking the way, so hopefully that will keep them back for a hot minute. And then we can also toss some quelling moss so they'd at least be poisoned, or I can just go ahead. I'm going to poison hobble and hit that butler. Okay, why do there have to be so many butlers? All right, meanwhile, now Mia's going to come rushing through from the back. She's just like a hero straight out of some sort of bard or epic because look at her. Oh, he swept the floor and burned out our lights. No. And he did bone stitch to heal the sommelier. Oh, you are a jerk. You are such a jerk. Oh my goodness, you're such a jerk. And he's doing something. I don't know what he's doing. I don't like what he's doing. Lon, get rid of what he's doing. Make him stop. Seriously, make him stop. Shackle. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so I don't know what kind of effect he just caused, but... Oh, why is the Sommelier so stubborn? Is he the last one? Okay, I think he's the last one. Alright, now may I get in there and... Boom! Alright, are we gonna make it? Now may his little tree... We made it! <laughs> Okay, now Mia, you are so epic. You are so freaking epic. I don't even know. I kind of want to give her... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and give her the Necklace of Courage because I feel like... But that would replace her grandmother's necklace. Oh my gosh. But you know what? Everybody else already has necklaces. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we're going to give her the Necklace of Courage. That would improve her block chance, increase her stunt chance. That was amazing. That was amazing! Oh my gosh, so we could upgrade her repose. Each time uh, each time Nalmia is hit, she gains plus 20 dodge. Resets after a successful dodger block. Battle dance, which is passive. Melee attacks only cost Nalmia one action. That would be amazing. Endurance, Nalmia has plus two armor and warding. Raider, as a swift action, Nalmia can start a fire on an empty tile or break a piece of adjacent scenery, dealing three damage to all foes adjacent to the scenery. I think Battle Dance is totally her because she's swift, she's on her feet, and I really love the idea that she could start doing like damage on more than just one enemy. She's so cool. They spend a musty, deceptively long while walking the halls. It's funny, I... My instinct is to tidy up, but for whom? Discovering new things to wonder about forever. Up here, the world can seem ancient. It kind of was. It kind of... It was kind of a siege. The sun will set many times on many old walls and roofs before more shadows call them to fight. We did it, you guys. <gasps> we did it! Okay! That was awesome! So because we had 14 safe tiles and 2 towns with no infested tiles and no lurking threats, 11 years of peace. 18 legacy points. We now have 17 heartwoods, 9 hides, 15 ingots, 6 fabrics. I knew I needed more fabric. 14 spell threads. Unce, 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 unce. 
The enemies have been weakened, thank freaking goodness. And during the years... Oh, Lilo's getting old! <laughs> during the years of peace, Lilo carried one large bedroll upon her back. Lon, a jug of wine on his. They did fall in love. And they snuck off to the hills for some time to enjoy the views in each other's company. Oh, they've gotten old, you guys. Lon and Lilo and Lon took their vows in the ancestral glade near Moss Market. It was the rare time Lilo's emotions got the best of her. Spoke her troth through tears. They got married, you guys! At the ancestral glade of Moss Market? Oh my gosh! In town, their feast had finished, but they returned for songs and stories before sleep. The long-looked-for wedding would be a happy memory for the rest of their lives. Oh, just imagine all of the leaves dancing, all of the, the songs, the stories that even though their family has been long gone for many, many years now, Lon and Lilo would pass on the songs and stories they were raised with that were once upon a time held as secrets and cherished by the Gilded Lily, their theater troupe. And I think they would find healing in passing those songs and stories on to anyone and everyone who would listen. Wow. That's how they can also leave their legacy, through those stories, too. Nelmia and Lilo enjoyed talking about the old days over a campfire. Nelmia would sometimes try to capture their reminiscence in verse, but had trouble coming up with rhymes for a thick soul. Oh, look at these guys. Aim enjoyed spending time with the researchers of Clan Spoke Gasworks. There was a certain lofty reverence in their mission to explore the Yandering Land's most mysterious workings. Oh, that's so fitting because Aim really has gained a lot of practical experience now and she's always been more of an artifact mage. So here she is trying to actually work those artifacts. Oh, that's really great to see. Sometimes I worried that once times were peaceful, we wouldn't have anything left to talk about. We could always gossip about Lilo. And it looks like she and Nelmia are still together as well. <gasps> Lilo Leaf's son has just reached adventuring age? Condomir Leaf has joined the Chosen of the Gilded Lily as a mystic like his mother? Lilo and Lon had a son! Oh my gosh! We're so not naming him Codmere. <laughs> so are we going to make him an Earth Scribe? Are we going to make him uh, Viraflow? For each interfused object, he gains physical attack. Are we going to make him an Elementalist? Um, let's see. Fire does not burn out when infused. I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to make him... Let's see. Bone wall. Allies may wall with interfused objects. I think, given everything, we might make him an elementalist. I think I'm going to try that out. Oh my word. You guys. You guys. What is he like? Tell me, tell me. Oh my goodness. So what are his stories? Like, what's his history? Other children tended to be jealous of Codmir, who's not going to be named Codmir for long. Look who his parents were. The road is known best to listless feet. Always found, uh, he always his, fa always his found their place along it. Oh, his, his feet, I get it. Burning with psychic pain, he only let others see the laughter that smoked over heck. What the heck? What? 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 He's lucky, thorny, and a dark heart? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, what do those things mean? Okay, ex-farmer. He used to work the land, so they probably raised him, like, on a farm. He's lucky, uh, so he has a hook for luck. Everything always turns out fine, doesn't it? He's thorny. I didn't ask you, did I? Possibly from the constant pain that he feels. He's a greenhorn mystic, who's also an elementalist and can infuse with a lot of the elements. I wonder if... Some of the magic that Lilo and Lon were exposed to, and then some of the things that may be Codmere, who's not going to be Codmere for long. A greedy goofball, oh my gosh. I wonder if some of the things he was exposed to ended up overwhelming him. I think there's too much magic within him, and it's constantly overflowing. And that might be why he's Dark Heart. 
Don't ask me about the path I walk. I wonder if the, the dark Morthoggy magic that was just lying around everywhere ended up affecting him. And I can't believe their son has joined us. What the heck heck? This is so cool. Oh my goodness. Um, all right. And he's actually got a rivalry with his mom to want to like show off to her. Uh, let's see. So he is... I think he covers up his pain tremendously because he is 98 a goofball. What? Maybe he his parents were always so depressed talking about all the family that they lost that he, just from a young age, he always tried to make it so his parents could smile. And that's why he's a goofball. And then greedy, maybe constantly being on the move and extremely nomadic, never staying in one place for long. And Lilo really giving away a lot and Lon giving away a lot because he's extremely compassionate. And maybe he's always secretly felt like, why can't I have nice things? My parents are so famous. Why can't I have nice things? So it makes him a little bit like greedy. However, he is a bit of a leader, a tiny bit of a healer. He's not nearly as much of a coward as his dad. Also, he doesn't like to read. What? <laughs> He's got nine. How was he born to two poets and he's got nine on the reading, the romantic, and only like 29 on the poetic. I think he really has been trying to rebel against his parents by being a bit of a goofball who uses his, his goofiness to cover up the overwhelming psychic pain from the dark magic within him that it also kind of whispers to him and urges him to potentially give in to that greed that he feels. After all, his parents saved the world more than once. And what do they really have to show for it? I could see him him getting a little bit a little bit disheartened by that. But all right, guys. So I actually need to go ahead and give everybody a whole bunch of cool weapons. Give me just a second for that. And there we go. I meant to show you guys all of the new gear and the amazing new looks that some members of our party are sporting, but I had to go ahead and uh, move on to the new threats that might be happening. Now that chapter two out of five is complete as the story of the gilded, the chosen of the gilded lily continues. Need any more help? How can I get us moving quicker? It looks like we have Lilo and Nalmia talking to one another. Tent rolled, tents rolled, breakfast is done. Eat and we can go. Good. Haven't had time to wrap metal around a neck, fire a stone from a stack in a good while. That wasn't a threat. I'm talking about the bonelings. Eventually. Hmm. Things have turned, predictably, back towards conflict. The more thoggy problem was hoped to be, but never believed to be fully solved. I'm just anxious is all. Oh, Lila would feel responsible for this. I think she feels like the destiny and the magic she was given are kind of tied to the Morthoggy problem somehow. What no one expected, ho oh, there, was that the Earth itself would become involved. Wait, Lilo, feel it? Earth shakes have been increasingly common. Now, almost once a day, since spring, upsetting things as small as sand piles and as large as mountaintops. Rickety houses fold in many towns and territories. Ooh. The company will follow the force of the trimmers to their suspected center, likely to destroy whatever is causing them. You two, uh, okay? The shadows deepen. Oh my gosh. You guys! You guys, it continues. <gasps> Look at its moss market. This is where Lilo and Lon got married. Oh my goodness. And look, everybody is actually split up. This is so cool. Everyone is kind of like focusing on new things. And I think it's about time that we actually focused on adding in a new hero as well. So my friends, this is where we are going to leave off for now. But oh my gosh, am I ever excited about things, except for Codmere's name. We're not keeping his name as Codmere. I'm gonna have to give it a little bit of a thought, but I don't think we're gonna leave his name as Codmere.
<laughs> so, all right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for, I guess, Cogmere being born. Lilo and Lon had a baby. I love that. Uh, and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But until next time, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.